Wednesday to get buckets. Let's go. For the first time in over a decade, Indiana State will meet Indiana on the basketball hardwood. An opportunity to find out where the Sycamores are as a team right from the opening tip. Well, every next game is a great opportunity. It really is. Excited because they start counting now. You know, they start counting. Uh, we've been going at each other for a month in practice, uh, if not more, with the fall workouts and then getting your exhibitions in and, and doing those things. So it's time to, for games to matter, games to really matter. And we got a great opportunity to play at one of the best venues in the country in a, in a great environment and um, go over there and see what, see what happens. Trust me when I say that Coach Lansing has been on his guys since practice started on October 1st. Well, actually, since last season ended. But now with the game that will actually count in the win and loss column, practices are just a tad more amped up this week. Well, we stay on them pretty good. Uh, there's no question, you know that. Uh, but it does, it is a long time of going, a long time before you start, when you start practice to when you play your first game. So there's some times when uh, it gets tough for the guys, but you gotta battle through it. You gotta uh, compete harder. You gotta put them in, ad in adversity and do those things. And, We've tried to do that as much as possible. Now you have no time. You can't waste any practice time. You shouldn't anyway, but you can't waste any practice time because I know going over there, those guys are going to compete like crazy for 40 minutes. They're well coached. They're going to play really, really hard, and we're going to have to play fairly mistake-free to have a chance to win. Sycamores have won three of the last five in this series, including a 63-60 win at Assembly Hall in 1999-2000. This is a game that means so much to the fans. And yes, it means a lot to the players and the coaches too. And even though the players understand the importance of this game, that environment on Friday is something they haven't dealt with yet. We can't simulate it here. I know that in practice. We can try to with pumping crowd noise and doing all that in here, but uh, that's the first game for a new head coach over there in a historic, uh, outstanding program. It's going to be loud. It always is. It's one of the loudest places, probably top three of, of any venue I've ever uh, coached in or been around. And, I've been a part of, of teams that have won in there, you know, and I know how uh, rewarding that is to go in there in such a difficult place against a very good team and be able to come out there with a win. But it's, you know, I, I, some of our guys have no idea what they're, what they're in for. We're going to find out real quick. So what will it take to make Assembly Hall silent and for the Sycamores to come out with a win? The biggest thing is we got to get a lot better. We've not played defensively very well or consistently, you know, since uh, in, in the scrimmages and in, in, in the exhibition. We have to do that because it, it's got to start in here. We have to do a better job of competing and, and being tougher to play against each other in practice and then offensively just to continue to take care of the basketball and get good shots. Uh, now it's, you know, that you're playing teams where uh, you have to you have to play make the fewer mistakes uh, to have a chance to win. And, we're going to find out real quick on Friday. You know, you're going in there, it's not going to be easy. No, they're not going to give you anything, so we can't give them anything. We will have more on our trip to Bloomington as the week progresses, of course. We still have some Sycamores to meet in our 19 and 19 series. For more on Sycamore basketball, you know where to stay. That's right here at GoSycamores.com.